just have a look at this fantastic creature that we found. Camouflage is a piece of grass that is a grass-like mantid. And can you see him there yet? Yes? No? It's just spectacularly camouflaged. Oh, I love mantids. There's not too many different variations of mantids. They're pretty much at the end of the of the evolutionary chain. Um, well, not really at the end of the evolutionary chain, but they're so specialized that to get much speciation uh, is hard, but there's a lot of different variations of mantids. These grass-like mantids are fairly common, and obviously, mimic grass stalks and catch insects that feed on and along and sit and live on and along grass stalks. And if you look away for an instant, you won't even see it. Ah, oh, that is amazing. Big bulbous. So James, you'd like to know what insect takes the longest time to reach its final adult stage? Um, James, probably one of the borer beetles in this particular area. Um, the borer beetles get so little nutrition, their larvae get so little nutrition from the wood that they eat that it takes an age to develop enough metabolic energy to metamorphosize. And some larvae of the borer beetles can be 30 years inside a tree, building up the metabolic energy needed to, to make the transformation. So I would say to adult phase, uh, one of the borer beetles uh, would be my guess. As to longevity, um, <clears throat> Probably one of the termites or ant queens um, out of the insect world, at least anyway, will live the longest. Termite or ant queens in their adult form. Can you still see him there? Mm -hmm. Ah, he's not jumped away. Yeah, he's underneath here. The end of my finger. I'll put it there. This is an amazing little guy. He's still here now. Kelsey, you want to know, is it a mantis or a mantid? Um, my education doesn't stretch to the point where I could answer that question. <laughs> so I'm going to, I'm going to throw it right. Shall I go back? 